Ching Mei here to do my February update video. I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and do this video today because I'm starting to feel the crud come on and I'm afraid that if I wait until I feel better it'll be a while because I have a feeling this is just the start of the crud. I've been having some pleuritic chest pain, some cough. My voice is a little scratchy. It probably feels more scratchy than it sounds. Um, Connor's trying to come down with it too. Randomly last night I checked his temp and because he got up to go to the bathroom and he felt warm. It was 102.8 and I was going to get the medicine to treat the fever and by the time I got in there like 10 minutes after he pottied and he was out from under the covers and I got the medicine ready. He was back down to 97.8. So I was like okay that was just environmental. He was hot in his room. Put him in the bed with me, checked him throughout the night, he was fine. This morning it was time to get up for school, checked his temp, and he was 101.8 with no covers on. So I messaged the teacher through our little messaging app, said he wouldn't be there, we'd be going to the doctor. Um, 20 minutes later I get up again to treat the fever and to get myself dressed, and sure enough his temp's down to 97.8. So we didn't go to the doctor, we stayed home today, and he's not running a fever anymore. Um, he did tell me today that his head was hurting or he had a brain ache to quote him but I offered him medicine he said that he thought he would be okay he was just ready for bed that he had been sleepy all day so we're gonna play it by ear tomorrow and see about school tomorrow I don't know but anyway just in case the crud is coming to our house I didn't want it to be March before I got to do a video so I am here today with, I worked on, like, my stitchy bug came back with a vengeance. I worked on six projects in January. Um, one of them I can't show you. It's a new start. It's a secret project and a gift, so I cannot show you that one. And then the other five I can show you, of course, I'm doing the model stitching for the Connie G's um, 24 block um kind of backstitch style so I can't show you all of that because I am a little, little bit of head, a little bit ahead but I will show you what I can of that. I do have one finish, a little bit of haul, and there are two whips or finishes should I say that got pulled out of the bin of shame and fully finished. So I have all that to show you this video so it should be quick but then there should be a lot to show you. So I will start out with my one finish. And that was one that I showed you last video that I had been working on and that I had kind of gotten behind on. And that is the Freebie Specialty Stitch Style by Lakeside Linens. I think last time I said linen and threads. This is Lakeside Linens. Here that is all finished. Again, I changed the colors. I used some turquoise and a brown and I think it was 3747, 3748, and 3749, and then 3031. They had it in shades of pink and with a contrasting bright green. I liked these colors better. And I will eventually frame this and hang this in mine and my husband's bedroom. I'm not going to mad it or anything, so I should be able to find a frame myself pretty easily. And this is on 28 count ivory even weave of some sort. It's either some that I substituted out in a kit or some that I got randomly. I don't know what brand it is. It's just ivory. <laughs> Sorry. But there's my finished object. And I said that I wasn't doing stitch from stash this year, but I did. I finally kind of got talked into it. So I am doing stitch from stash. I'm already negative seven dollars. Starting out in the negative, but we'll get through that. Because trust me, I don't need to buy any more stash anytime soon. Do we ever need to buy more stash? Move my haul. Speaking of, I'm gonna move my haul over there. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna show you is my Connie G. Um, it is the back stitch style is what she's calling it. It's kind of like black work but it doesn't have the official stitches that black work has in it so she didn't want to call it black work because it's not officially black work. Um, so far they she has released 
the December block, the January block, and the February block. I have finished the March block and I'm halfway through the April block, but I can't show you those. So I have those creatively covered and I will show you the December, January, and February block. Here those are. I hope I'm close enough. I have still, I've done videos for what, three years now and I never know if I'm close enough to the camera or not. Mine's not on webcam so I cannot see what you're seeing. This is on 28 count Sunny Dyes. It was a limited edition piece. She no longer makes this color. I don't remember what the color was. But, um, and I'm stitching this with DMC one strand. And I'm doing it over two. But here that is. And as you can see, I creatively covered <laughs> my other blocks. That way you guys wouldn't see that. This is a lot of fun. Um, January's block was kind of kind of hard. I had to pay a lot more attention to it than I did December's block. And then February's block was a lot easier. I'm really enjoying this out though. But there that is. I'm having fun stitching on this. <clears throat> I didn't just throw my whip in the floor. And then another one. Now these aren't any in any particular order. Um, that black work piece has kind of become my traveling piece. It's the one that I keep in my car. It goes to work with me because it's easy to kind of pick up, stitch a little bit on, and then put away without any issue. Plus it's just one color. Um, so that's kind of my travel project. Um, this is one that you guys haven't seen since October. The last time I worked on this was in Austin at the Floss Tube Retreat. I started this one as a stitch along with a lady named Melody. Melody Stitches here on Floss Tube who has not made a video I think in over a year. We chat sometimes on Facebook though so we're keeping up with each other. She's just not making videos anymore. I'm sure if you guys comment enough Maybe between me pestering her and you guys pestering her, she might start making videos again. She did wonderful videos. She and her, hus her husband both stitch. This is um, A New Beginning by Abby Lane Designs. And guys, I was horrible. Like I said, this video was a last minute thing. I didn't get all the what it's gonna look like pictures. I will be better next video, I promise. But, um, so this was a lot of firsts for me. This is the first time that I am picking my own colors as I go. I absolutely have no clue. I just have a handful of some, um, oops packs from Dinky Dyes. And then I have all of my color and cotton, um, cottons kind of in a box. And I'm just kind of plucking them out and choosing as I go. So this is, so I'd already done this one. I finished this one in Austin. And then I did this green one here, and then I started on this orange one. And if the colors don't go, sorry. <laughs> this is on just plain old 32 count lamb's wool virtual linen, the very stiff linen. I don't have a problem with it. I can get it readily, so I use it a lot. But here that is. And I'm hoping to get a lot more progress on this because this is a lot of fun. Oh, and this is also the first time that I didn't start in the middle, that I started on the edge. It was funny. She and I were both Skyping. Her husband was sitting next to her stitching while she stitched. And they were rooting me on. And I kept getting so nervous about starting because I didn't think I had measured enough in. And they were going, just go. <laughs> just go. <laughs> just start. So they both helped me start this. So I guess technically her husband can take in this sal even though he's not stitching it but there that whip is I'm really enjoying it I love all the little motifs in this this one made me realize that I really do like the kind of Quaker and the separate motif stuff okay and my next whip <clears throat> you guys haven't seen it in a very long time I know that it has been up into this point over a year since I worked on this piece. Um, when I did my Jimmy Floss tube interview, he actually made fun of me for this piece, calling it a give up that I just hadn't admitted to it being a give up yet. And that inspired me. So I was inspired by Jimmy Floss tube. <laughs> and of course, 
to um finish to work on this one not finish it gosh i wish it was finished no seriously i was at a loss when that for a project to work on and i text my husband and i said what project should i work on and he named this project out and I huffed and I said, okay, fine. And he was like, I really want to see that one finished next. Or not next, but he, that's his, like, 99 was one that he wanted to see finished. And this is one that he wants to see finished. So I pulled it out and I've been working on it off and on all month. I do not have a picture of before, I don't think. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't. So I'm going to get better about that. I told you guys for three years that I would get better about that. I'm going to start taking the pictures and inserting the pictures and just having this silence. And y'all have to deal with the silence. <laughs> but here it is. Starry Night. I'm working on my Starry Night again, guys. And it's not as painful as I thought it would be. What I've been doing is every time that Lori and I stitch on Skype, or every time she comes up, I will definitely work on this piece. I did not do this piece the last time because of the secret piece that I'm working on. I won't, I gotta get that one done because it's got a deadline on it. But I can tell you that I was like almost exactly halfway done because I had like gotten up to maybe in here and then I, I put it down. I worked really hard to get halfway and then I was done with it and I didn't touch it for a year. So all of this is new, probably a quarter of a whole, of a whole page. Um, my goal for this this year is to finish, <clears throat> so it's halfway done, so I need the other half. I want to finish half of that half, so a quarter of it. <laughs> That's my goal. Anything extra would be, would be fine. I have about four and a half pages, I think, like full pages to finish. Now, some of those are over partial pages, but... And I do the cross country. It is gridded. It's lightly gridded. It's faded and I'm not going to regret it. Um, again, it was gritted with the markers. But I just kind of pick one color, follow it out until I get tired of that color, and then move on to the next color. So you should see Starry Night at least every other month, if not every month. I want to work on this at least one week out of every month. Well, not a full week, but, you know, several times a month. My rotation this year is just to work on whatever I want to work on. I pick it up as I go and that's that. <coughs> Pardon me. Get us something to drink. I'm trying not to cough too much in your in your faces. I mean, not that you can get the crud from me, but it's still rude. So my next one is in the bag that Belinda sent me. My dragonfly bag from Jan's Stitching Necessities. I do have what it's supposed to look like. <clears throat> it is the project that she gifted me, which is Pumpkin Swirl by Glendon Place. And by the way, I was watching Dina's video early this morning, half stitch, cross stitch, and she showed the poinsettia pumpkin swirl. And I think that's going to be my next, the poinsettia pumpkin swirl. That makes it. Pumpkin squirrel. It's getting worse. <laughs> you poinsettia at Glendon Place. I think that's going to be my next Glendon Place that I work on. But this is what this will look like when it's finished. And oddly enough, I did not realize this, but when I pulled one of the colors for my um, Abbey Lane New Beginnings, that orange is also in this pattern. So apparently I was just feeling orange this month. <clears throat> and... This is my progress on that. Y'all listen. Beads and silks and rattles. Wonderful sound. Okay. Salvage edge is down. There we go. Making sure I have this the right way. And this is where I am. I had already finished all of this and just barely started on this orange piece. So finish this, finishing this off, going up this way, and the white, and then this kind of peachy orange is all new. So like I said, I've been stitching a lot this month. I've, <clears throat> my bug has definitely been, been roaring, you know, biting, whatever. 
but and guys I I cannot this piece is so much fun to stitch so much fun to stitch I will definitely stitch more of their amazing desserts I have two of their mini desserts I have the I, well I have the fruit the fruit cocktail in my stash and then I have their new butterfly one from their um from Nashville last year those are both limited edition kits and I both have both of those and then you know that I finished the mixed berry cheesecake before <clears throat> just haven't framed it but there that is and I actually passed the mixed berry cheesecake chart along to a friend um who's going to chart it in her own, not chart it, but substitute some colors. She's got some variegated colors that she wants to use for it. I never know how long to, you know, do the Vanna White thing. I don't want to hold it up too long and you guys be bored, but now I don't want to hold it up not long enough and you guys be like, just show me the projects. And the final piece that I worked on is the one that I am working on with Mandy. And Connie Mandy just started her floss tube video and I will link to her videos below and I think I think Connie is gonna start videos as well too um and if she does I will eventually link to her videos but we have been working on this we've not gotten together totally like all three of us for the last few weeks because one of us had has had the crud or one of our children have had the crud so it's been a good two weeks since I think we've worked on this all together. So the last time I worked with this, of course, was with Connie and not Mandy because Mandy was sick. But we have, we're not working on it at all this week. But anyway, you don't care about all that. We are on Instagram and we are all three on Instagram. I don't know their usernames, but we are all tagging this project with the Lunch Bunch, Lunch Bunch Trio. And we've already got <clears throat> our next project in mind that we're going to do. So I think we're going to always have something that we all three work on at the same time. It's kind of our plan. We have two ideas lined up already. Because I need more projects, right? So this is where I am currently. And I do... Well, let me show you this first. I do have what it's going to look like. This is Christmas Eve by the Prairie Schooler. This is one of their reprints. <clears throat> and this is stitched on 32 count Laguna and the color Dusty Blue by LJ's Fabrics. Guys, I absolutely love this fabric and I will definitely be buying more of his fabric. And um, it is charted as called for. The only thing that I changed are the let the words down here that will be like what are the words <clears throat> Noel Merry well, Noel Merry Christmas peace love and joy those were all charted in a light blue and a beige color and I was afraid they would get lost so I'm charting them in the red the gold and the green that um, are already in the, the pattern so this one is so fun to stitch. Like, I, I can't get past. I don't know where my needle miter came from because this was gifted to me by Connie. <clears throat> but it's a lot of fun to stitch on. I can't wait till we can all three get together and stitch again and work on this piece. So we all have to get well. I want us all well anyway, but I want us well selfishly to where we can work on this piece. And then that is it for whips that I can show you. Like I said, I do have the other piece, but that is a secret project. It's a gift and I can't show it. So, and oddly enough, I'm keeping my Christmas piece in this bag that was a gift to me from Is Kismet Stitches or Diana. Look guys, it's got that. Oh, I'm showing all kind of pattern there. Yeah, you can. It's upside down and very far away. So if you got it from that, then more power to you. Now then, it's got the vinyl, the see-through. What I like about it, it's like the other day I was able to show people the, prog the progress 
and a stitch in that we went through without actually having to take everything out because you can see through it. Plus you can see what your project is without having to dig into there. So my next that I'll show you will be the pieces that were in the bin of shame and they have since come out of the bin of shame and they are now fully finished. Um, Mandy introduced me to her framer while we were stitching one day and it is at a Michaels but there are two cross stitchers that work at that particular one so I am taking it to her Michaels <laughs> so that they can frame it because they do um, pin and they do the stitch <clears throat> they do the pin and stitch instead of gluing and I was very impressed both he and she have framed two things for me and they took a lot of time helping me pick out the right frame and then the right mat. Um, the first one I will show you is 99. And you're probably going to get a horrible glare. <clears throat> and that's fine. I will take a picture of it and put it in at the end. So this actual frame came from... <coughs> sorry. Came from a thrift store. And then they helped me pick out the mat. My husband and the lady picked out the mat. And they did it as their express framing. Not all Michaels offer the express framing that you can bring in your own frame. This particular one does though. So there that is. It's got the double mat. <clears throat> brown and orange. And like I said, I will show you this. I'll take a picture to where you won't get as much glare. But this was supposed to go in my husband's music area. And when it got done and got home, he has moved all of our artwork around and it is in our living room. So I have 99 bottles of beer hanging on my living room wall. That's classy, isn't it? Oh well. I'm in the South, it's okay. But there that is. I'm trying to, I'm hoping maybe you can get a little bit of it without the glare. But I will take a picture. To so, see my it. camera completely died. So, anyway, like I said, you probably had a lot of glare on the 99 bottles. And I will insert a picture at the end. Now, the next one that I got fin fully finished is my Needleworker. This was by, or is by Little House Needleworks. It came as a kit. Well, without the fabric, mine is a MCG's, Twi MCG's Textiles Twilight Blue, the linen that everybody complains about, but I didn't have an issue with it. And the cool thing about this frame is it's not one that I would have picked out for myself at all. Um, Mandy saw it, showed it to me, and at first I was kind of nervous, but then there's the mats and everything laid out. I fell in love with it and went with it, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, it does have the burgundy and off-white mats, and the framer suggested that we flip the mat around backwards so that the white in the core of the mats wouldn't show through because he didn't want the white to clash with the cream. So the mats are turned around opposite that way the cut is showing is against the needlework, if that makes any sense. But this is actually hanging up in my craft room, in my stitching room. So... There that is, and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And I would definitely pick this frame again. So that's it for all of my FFOs. And then I do have a little bit of haul. Um, I'll show you my haul first, and then I'll talk to you about one thing that I can't show you. Um, just because it's not physically possible. Okay, first of all, I had some gifts. Um, <clears throat> I got, after seeing nails at the little yellow, little yellow house, is it little yellow house needleworks crafts? She showed her, um, Brooks books, little women charts. There is Beth, Joe, Amy, and Meg. And... Connie had had these in a box that she was kind of showing like um, whenever we have big stitch togethers, we all bring like a box of stuff that you can go through and if you want something that you can have it. 
and she had had these and I had picked these up and then put these down and then picked these up and then put these down and then when I saw nails finished I messaged her I was like hey did anybody claim those and she's like no so she brought them to me so eventually I will do these but I love them I thought they were so cute and that was one of my favorite books as a child so and then <clears throat> I plan in the next two-ish months to start Lady of the Flag I do have that pattern. Um, I mentioned it a long time ago that I found it in a needlework store for the $12 that it was originally per priced at and snatched that up and I have been wanting to stitch it but just had it because I wasn't in love with the gold dress, the yellow dress. I saw the green conversion and I'm going to be doing the green conversion of Lady of the Flag. So I got some fabric to start that on. That was part of my haul for this month. And then Lori, who apparently has a small needlework store in her home, brought me some of the DMC that I will need for that project. That way I didn't have to use my stash budget. And she said she had way too many of these. So got that. She gifted me some DMC. And then that was it for gifts. Now, um, two of these things are actual haul that I purchased and then one is a monthly subscription so it doesn't count for my stitch from stash. Um, the one that doesn't count are my color and cotton threads. I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to hold them up like this because you can see them very well. Um, guys, again, I, I brag about her subscription to her threads every single month and again, I'm not disappointed. Um, actually, I guess I do have to open them to tell you the names. Of course, we've got this pretty green, this blue, kind of a purpley color, a light pink, and a light blue. Let's see. Pardon the crinkling. We have Dove Gray. Petunia, oh, I love that name. Amethyst, Princess Blue, and Sherwood, or just Sherwood. I guess not Sherwood Forest, Forest Green. Yeah, that makes sense. There those are. And then, the ones that do count against me. Oops, just drop those in the floor too. I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, started with my fabric for Lady of the Flag. I have fallen in love with seeing these pieces on this fabric, so I purchased this. This is the 32 count We the People fabric, as you can see. It's a large piece. It is by, I get it through, I got it through Stitchery Express. I think she's the only one that carries it. Cindy. Yes, Stitchery Express. Um, so it's exclusively for them. But it is hand dyed or painted or whatever through fabricflare.com. But I love this fabric. And then there's also a pledge piece, but I was afraid that Lady of the Flag would be too big for the for the pledge piece. However, um, eventually I want to do the other flag piece that Mirabilia did. I think I will do that one on the pledge piece because she's smaller up top and you would be able to see it on there. And the other one, the other thing that I purchased that I completely blame D Squared for enabling me for this. Because literally I stopped the video, got on eBay, found it, submitted an offer, and purchased it. It's an out of print chart. And it is a sampler piece that is was created by more than one designer. And it's called A Most Noble, Noble Pursuit. It has projects from Primitive Suggestions, Hands to Work, Bright Needle, The Work Basket, Praiseworthy Stitches, Patricia Ann Designs, with my needle, Lottie Da, Stitch a Prayer and Carriage House Sampling. Guys, I saw this. She held it up and I had to have it. I absolutely love this. And then it's really neat because inside it is signed 
the, all of the artists. Now this one's like, I don't think this is actually, they had a page that was signed and then you got a copy of that page. It's not all like individually signed. And then there is even a little, a little um, corrections page. So if yours doesn't have the corrections page, let me know maybe and I will be glad to share the corrections with you. Not the chart, just the corrections piece. But um, <clears throat> I love this. I love all these little squares. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do each square individually or if I'm going to do them as one big piece because if you do it as one big piece, it is 22 and five, so we'll say we'll say 23 rounding up by 14 on thirty six count over two. So that's huge. So I may end up doing each block by the by itself. I don't know yet, but I loved it. So that's everything for this month. Um. I ended up being, like I said before, negative $7 on my Stitch from Stash budget. Oh, I didn't tell you. The thing that I can't show you, my husband very generously gave me my Valentine's Day gift early. Um, as you guys know, the, um, the Gift of Stitching magazine has been out of print for a while, but you could still go and purchase back issues. However, she was closing down her Etsy shop. Um, last I heard, I think she was extending the sale by one week. So it may still be going on. I'm not sure. But he purchased me the entire series, 72 magazines, um, for my Valentine's Day present. And he is getting truck step-ups for his truck. <laughs> Romantic, right? But, um, so I have been going through each of those magazines. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I've been going through each of those magazines <clears throat> on the di it's a digital file you get like each individual digital magazine and what I've been doing is if I like a project I've been printing it to PDF just that section and naming it that way I won't have to like try to remember what issue it is and all that stuff and then keeping a separate file of the ones that I definitely want to do from that from that series guys I'm already at like 36 or 37 projects and I'm maybe maybe halfway through this entire series. So I've still got like 30 more magazines to go through and I've got like 30 projects that I want to do from this, from these magazines. So that is now everything. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for my, to my returning subscribers for coming back and watching all my rambling. And thank you to my, for my new subscribers. Why is this always awkward? And I hope to see you guys soon. And until then, happy stitching.